Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to show you how to make a fraction bird. It's a great way to start the conversation about holes, parts, and fractions. So, let's get to it. Hey, what's up guys? Today, Isla and I are gonna be setting up a craft for you that we like to call a fraction bird. A fraction bird. I know how, I'm gonna show you how. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own fraction bird. So, first thing you wanna do, you want to create your holes. The way we do that is we take a bowl or whatever you have this round in the size that you like, and draw a circle around it. And first thing we have to do if we're gonna talk about holes and fractions is establish what a hole is. Go for it, you can do it. Excellent, that is a circle. And you're gonna cut that out, you can keep that and you'll come out with one of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the circle out. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. Yeah, might as well. I'll, can you cut through all these sheets and just cut one circle? Maybe. Yeah, it feels like cardboard though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a squeeze with some muscle. Yeah. There you go. All right, we'll get all of our holes at once and we'll start to break them down. If you want to make smaller pieces, if you want to take your holes into halves, fold them over. If you want to take your halves into quarters, you can fold them over and literally just open them back up and cut along the lines. One, two, three, and four. Four snips, you have four quarter pieces. If you wanna go down to eighths, you fold your quarters in half. If you wanna go down to sixteenth, fold your eighths in half as well. So now we have a whole bunch of holes. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these holes and turn them into halves. So, oh, you have cut. any ideas about how to do that? Cut through the middle? Yeah, what you can do is I fold it over Fold it over so you can get that line right down the center. See exactly where it is. Make sure those edges over there sync up. Well, yeah, they might be a little wonky, but do the best you can. Aww. And you just cut along the line, just like that. You may want to label these. That keeps the conversation going and direct it around mm -hmm. fractions. You'll find yourself referring to uh, pieces as their fraction and their color rather than the size. I have a half, you have a half. One, two, is a half. Excellent. Do the same thing on that one. And then we're going to cut it into fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and get your head stuck. Ah, oh, you do. I actually do. Well. I do it at school. Do you? Well, that is a good thing. Yeah. Then you can fold it one more time and then you'll have it and you can just cut them out all at once. You can cut through the middle right there. You can cut anywhere you see a line right now. And you'll get a fourth out of it and open that up. Cut it again. Now you have quarters or one-fourths and you can tell you have four pieces here that'll make a hole. Making a fraction bird isn't just a big bunch of fun, but it's also an opportunity to talk about some of the biggest concepts in math. Holes, parts, and fractions. All right, so now we're going to the fourth. So we're gonna write one-fourth. You know how to write one-fourth? Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. And what you can do is you can tell. You can just look at it. That's the right, paper. you can just look at it. You put them together and that, that right there is the same as this, and you know that one half is equal to two fourths. Another big math idea is the concept of being equal. One way to really get the point across is to introduce it with the concept of fairness. Kids understand, Joey got 10 cookies, Molly ought to have 10 cookies too. That's fair, that's equal. All right, so now, since you have your fourths and you have your halves, what would be next? you have any idea what's next? Bam, now. Count those. So count them and tell me how many of them are there. Eight. Eight, okay. So one it, eight. one eight. That is absolutely correct. So while you're working on, work on a one eighth right there, put a one over the eight on all of those. Every single one of these doubles. Every time you cut it in half, the, the bottom number, which is called the denominator, doubles. Two, four, eight. And then if you double eight, two times eight is, do you know that? I don't know. Ah, it's okay, you probably do know. Right there are all of your pieces. 16, you see over here, 1 16th. So 1 16th, the next fraction. We know what's going on, we know how we know what's going on because we can look and see 
the size of it. So if I turn these over, you know that two halves, whether you see it or not, is a whole. Okay, so now you have all your parts and pieces for your fraction bird. Now we're gonna put it on a board and make it look something like this. Are you ready? Are you ready to build a bird? Y-E-S. What did you, what's that spell? Yes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes. Okay, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. You do your thing. You can either copy the ones over here, I'm or you can, this. yeah, Apple, I mean, please feel free. You can even have a, a plump bird. You can have a, a bird with a hole there. And if you want to change the colors up, you could take, you could have a bird with a red belly and a another half yellow top. You want to do something different? I'm going to get my own way. Uh, load it up. Once you get them lined up, here's what I want you to do. Then glue it. That's my recommendation to you. Now you can glue it down if you want to. I'm just saying, line it up, get it the way you want it, and then I'm you can put- I'm just saying don't tell me that because I know what I'm doing. Oh, then knock yourself out. <laughs> Once you get the basic sort of layout together, then you can okay, get. Okay, now what do I need? Then you can embellish. Start the, on the. There's beak. A, there's an eighth beak there. You can do that. Let's get this baby's glued and stuck. Stick it. Let me know. Is this is this the right place for it? Right there. Yeah. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put it right there. All right. So I got one. I got a purple sixteenth here. <laughs> a purple sixteenth there. All right. I get. Did I get another one? I get to do two? Yeah. What? <laughs> get them a little closer. You want them closer? Should I have them overlapping a little bit maybe? Yeah, like that. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay. And there you have a fraction bird. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hop. My bird's name is Olivia. We hope you and your family have a great time trying out this activity, and when you do, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching.